You're gonna hate editing this, because you're gonna hate listening to this. I'm guaranteed to listen to this at least once, so yeah. <laughs> and now so that I don't feel self-conscious, <laughs> so that I can't hear myself, because I know this is gonna be a mistake. Kono ko tenaratenai, kono ko tenakanaji, and what sets her free, cause we still believe in magic. Bokura gana ko su kiseki, bokura gana ko su kiseki, bokura gao ko su kiseki, wo never give up, never. Akira menai so never give up, never. I think that's about we all we all we need that. I am surprised he actually did it. <laughs> uh, that was, that was... Yu-Gi-Oh Brains is not in this game, and shame on you for thinking it is. This so, came out in 2015, don't you know? So that that was quite the way to introduce this. Alright, so what's going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is I'm Bob. only slightly ashamed. Only <laughs> slightly. Hi Bob, this is Brandon. Uh, oh, welcome this new phone. W welcome to uh, the start of a new series of Let's Plays because I have... Brandon here put the request in to start tackling some games from this franchise and I figured, you know, it's inevitable. We so, I might as well just come to terms with it. We're going to be getting a very Zugo Let's Plays because... Well, I mean, the vast majority of us probably have had some exposure to this as kids, and uh, as it just happens, because I recently got a PS4, uh, there is a Yu-Gi-Oh game on the PS4 that happens to recap <laughs> the entire story, but, you know, obvious missing details. It's like, if you've ever watched Dragon Ball Z, let's play, you know, we cut, we miss important shit, but, you know, whatever. It has the beginning of, of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters up until the end of Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel, and while, you, and while you see Arc 5 here in the menu... Uh, we'll get to that. <laughs> it's gonna be a couple of months, but we'll get to that. Yeah. Another detail, just to... Uh, a little side trip. <laughs> nope. Well, that's curious. Huh? That's oh. curious. I wonder what that's about. <laughs> uh. Maybe later. Yeah, we'll, we'll cover that on a future date when I have the hard work for it. <laughs> anyway. You know, we we still haven't discussed how exactly we're going to handle this, I don't think. Oh, I, th I think we already did. Uh, we trade off between battles. That way, like, if one of us dies, the other one can take a, take a shot at it. And we can yeah. show off a lot more uh, duels that way. So, you know, right. there's no one arc that would take too long. Yeah. Uh, I actually want to give you the first one, because I want to have the first one with Kai, because I have a deck built around that. Oh, you're, you're so. giving me the tutorial mission. <laughs> All right. Well, no, if you hit triangle, you can actually do it do it as a normal duel. Do you want Do you want it? Yeah, fuck that. Let's turn it into an actual duel. Yeah. There's no acting, and this uh, so and this is pr uh, prefaced w uh, with a robot recounting the history, which, if you look at the robot, sounds perfectly like it would be played by Sean Schemmel. Probably. <laughs> Noises. Anyway, so, um... For those who Drooling have been... monsters. Drooling monsters. So, for those who have been here for a while, uh, it, I started doing Let's Plays of yeah, anime games like four years ago, and... Uh, not five yet. I'm not that old yet. Uh, those of you might be surprised that I'm suddenly doing this. Uh, so what's going on with this is Brandon has recently talked me into uh, Yu-Gi-Oh again. Obviously, like, as I explained earlier, I used to be into this as a kid. Um, came out of it because the rules were shifting too much. I was a fan of how the series was so oversaturated with dragons. But what, uh, what year was this? What era was it? 2008, 2009. Uh, 2009 would have, been, would have been into would have been into oh my god you're using the default deck yeah I'm using the default deck 2009 would have already been into would have already been heavily into synchro I thought you said you stopped in fusion yeah um I actually watched GX probably through like the first season oh he's got good cards actually Ugh. this might fuck him up actually he doesn't have any track cards <laughs> so um yeah I, I got <laughs> out of it around that wait what <laughs> ah whatever. I hate that card. James uses it against me. <laughs> the fucking uh, snowman eater. That's great. Oh hell yeah! However, no, 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 I love that card. It's a really good card. Every time you draw a normal monster, you can draw again. It's pretty fucking good for Exodia uh, decks. Yep. So um, yeah, Brandon recently asked, uh, talked to me, explaining seeing Pachi's a good card. Uh, he was like, if we're gonna be tackling Toho and some other games, what if, should we tackle uh, Yu-Gi-Oh? And I'm like, I was initially a little 
questioning on? I should not have said that in attack mode, goddammit. <laughs> You're probably- you might lose this one, actually. Yeah. If it, even if it does, we'll do the, like, oh no, you know what, you want the Exodia one, I'll use one of my decks next time. Still got Battle football. Man, I miss how simple things used to be. <laughs> oh wait, this might be the basic construction deck. Uh, Maybe. Um, and that blazing Heihachi over there. Uh, You'll have to forgive us. There's going to be some silences every now and then when yeah, we're actually reading the cards. Yeah, I'm still pretty greedy into this because I just got into it again. Yeah, I'm probably about to lose. I've been into Yu-Gi-Oh! The, uh, the entire time. The uh, I've had some downtime with it, and that was... Uh, that was after 5Ds, that was when Zexel happened, where I just hated Zexel so much. And before anyone says anything, yes, I did give it a chance. Yes, I did give it an entire first full season. <laughs> I just hated it so much. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to bring this car deck up because it's a deck I legitimately know how to use. Cyber? So, yep, Cyber. I, 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 am, I know I am going to use yours later on, but this is the deck I've been utilizing a lot, so... It, it's kind of like my deck I actually know how to fucking use right now. That's actually pretty effective. If I have it. Pretty sure you do. It's, you get it pretty early in the game. Because the annoying thing about this game is that even if you have the cards, you need to have the exact number of all of the cards. Otherwise, otherwise it won't let you God, use the deck. God, you have so many decks in here. He has a different deck literally every fucking time. Yeah. Oh, wait. These guys are going... In alphabetical order of name, I just realized that. If you hit uh, yep. R2, R2 goes way down. All right, it was. Oh, I Cyber really Dragon. hope it wasn't Cyber Dark. No, it's not. I'm not using Cyber Dark. I could use Cyber Dark, but <laughs> I, I'm not going to. This deck. This is one I use a lot. Uh, let's see. Let's see if it allows me to name it this. It did! <laughs> it didn't try to censor the, the word or anything. I love that. I like your play here. Cyber Bob. Bob Cyber Shit. I take... I shit out computers, don't you know? <laughs> but yeah, I know. Um, the sequel to Cyberstein. So, right now, I am... I am legitimately... I haven't beat this game yet, but I am almost through the entirety of 5Ds. Um, I've been utilizing Zane Cyber, Cyber Dragon deck. It's really good for... Um, Swarming at people very early, and this is like my go-to shit. So, like, if you were to drop something, yeah, like that. So, Brown, I'm gonna show you like the ins and outs of this bullshit. So he's he dropped a card. Uh, cool thing about Cyber Dragon, if the opponent controls a monster and I don't, I can just drop this for free. That's pretty fucking good. Uh, and I will set you because once you get out the graveyard, I can start activating this. If you summoned it, if you summoned it. To Normally, or even if you didn't summon it, you could have uh, fused into Cyber Twin. Does this deck have Cyber Twin Dragon? Yes, it has a lot of Cyber. It utilizes Cyber Twin Dragon and Cyber End Dragon. Okay, yeah, you could have just made Cyber Twin right away. Probably, but the quick upper hand is not going to be too bad. Would have been a double attack, but all right. <laughs> Plus, Cyber tw uh, Cyber Core also gets really good advantages of being in the graveyard. Oh, he went there already. Yeah. Gotcha cocky tied with it, alright. That's fine though, because I gotta activate this shit now. <laughs> uh let's see. After my deck. And then cop another one. <laughs> the real shit fun shit is when he starts uh power bonding some of this bullshit, so I can now react to this. <laughs> I haven't I haven't won yet. It's not a GG already, but I'm getting pretty close. Um See if I can't go over some more of my history with this series. Uh, I have watched the original entire series of Yu-Gi-Oh! Or Season 1. I watched... Series 1, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters. Yeah, the uh, Duel's Kingdom, I think it was called. I've watched most of Battle City, but I, I think I missed the conclusion. <laughs> but I did catch up on it through... Um, You're not you, missing uh, anything. Little Karibo, of course. Uh, after that, I watched some of GX, but I moved to Arizona during that time it was airing, so I didn't get to watch all of it. What are you doing? <laughs> Destroy that monster. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> I mean, that just means he's got completely fucked already. He has no fusion card, so I can immediately call up Fusion Gate. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Brandon. I haven't already won. I'm sorry, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, 
this deck can be overcome <laughs> a little bit if how the, dare you, Bob? The, the opponent like has cards that immediately target one card in particular, but it's not often. By the way, this card is exactly like Guts. <laughs> you guys quite a few cards that reference other series. My dad would already have shunned you for not winning. Your dad already would have won this duel. <laughs> <laughs> Rondon, what do you mean you didn't already win the duel? <laughs> turn 8? Why? Turn 8? I've never made it to turn 5. <laughs> I took na I took regionals. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so um, I got Cyber Dragon Dwight. That's really good. Oh, uh, God. I'm going to have stories to tell by the end of the GX era. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, uh, okay. I should hang on. You know what? Actually, double shit with Cyber Larva. Gonna hang on for one more turn. Well, you're not gonna die anytime soon. No, not yet. I'm just trying. I have this strategy in mind. If he kills Cyber Larva, I, l I don't take any more damage for the rest of that turn, so. Oh, he is swarming, though. So there are, there are a couple of things that annoy the hell out of me about, about this game's interface, none the least of which being. That a, that every individual series only has, I think, like a maximum of uh, two or three backgrounds. Yeah. And what bothers me personally is that there's only like two songs in the whole game. Yeah. That's just me though. Well, all of the music and all the assets are reused from uh, from the Tag Force series on PSP. Yeah. Which means don't be surprised if all, if exactly all of this entire thing and its music are taken from 2005. <laughs> Kind of, yeah. Uh, from the deck. I miss the Tag Force games. Those were fun. I was really pissed off when Arc 5 Tag Force Special, the first Tag Force game in five years, I think, at the time, did not come to America. That pissed me off. That game was for PSP and Vita in 2015. <laughs> I just realized I don't have the necessary requirements to actually have uh, Cyber Dragon Y here to actually activate the effect and become a Cyber Dragon, so... Oops. Small mistake on my part. <laughs> the cool thing is that it gains 300 attack points when you actually duel an opponent. This is slightly why I opted to have us actually change off uh, turns between every battle. I've never actually fought this deck before. This is not terrible. That I'm fucking up. If it wasn't for that card earlier, I probably would have won this already. Would you like to set it back to tutorial where you automatically win? <laughs> Would you like to play on Daddy Can I Play mode? <laughs> oh, my binky. <laughs> Alright. You know what? I'm going to steal one of your decks, actually. Okay. I might use Blackwing. <laughs> Going for the heavy. Oh, <laughs> oh, God. I didn't want to do the tutorial. <laughs> Fuck. Triangle. God. God. You were, no, you were on it. You just had to hit triangle. I know. I'm not used to that. Alright. Going for the... Uh, hold on. Hit square. Yeah. Square again. Okay, yeah. Buy a slot. Any of the ones with no with uh, numbers are the are my own personal creations. I think I only have uh, ten or twelve right now. All I'm right. gonna add some more, but so this one, yeah, uh, that one that one is the competitive set deck. The other one that says Prime Wings is a deck is a deck I made to have fun. Huh. I will admit those Cyber Dragons sometimes requires you to get lucky with actually power bonding Cyber Twin Dragon, depending on what the opponent is. Yep. Yeah. So right now I've learned. Up to, uh, we got the epic music, hell yeah. I've learned up to, uh, Synchro Monsters, because I'm, like, always at the end of, uh... One, uh, one Day of Peace? Yeah, I can activate that for start. Boy, hey. the spear. Yes? You wanted to Black Whirlwind first, because whenever you normal summon, that lets you, uh, uh, search a weaker Blackwing directly to your hand, and you could have done a level 7 Synchro this turn. Ah, I see. Set the trap card. Let's see... Triangle. Oh wait, hang on. Let me let me double take this. When opponent's monster declares an attack on the black wing monster you control, banish all face up attack positions monster your opponent can Yep! <laughs> this is just fucking mirror force. It's a banishing mirror force. I know! God, that's so good. I almost want you to let them actually uh, destroy Bora, just so that way you can use the full effect of... I know at the very least he has flaming and pochi, so he'll definitely have something that can walk over me, but not quite gonna let that be easy. Sure. Summon it. No, the, the bigger one, yeah. Okay. One. None of these, are, you, are you these tuners? Yes. None of these are. Search Blizzard. That one. No. This one? Yeah, Gale. Yeah, Gale. Alright. Special summon it and then use its ability. Cool. 
I'm sure there's probably some hardcore Yu-Gi-Oh nerds out there who are getting upset with me. That Use his ability first. What's his ability? Let's pretend you can target one phase of monster. Yeah, yeah, and I would do, do it's good. Do all of your attacks before you synchro. All right. So, oh, I see. Maximize. Yeah. I don't forget you can synchro on uh, main phase too. I shouldn't, but I still do. <sighs> yeah, this is where I'm at with learning my learning of Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm catching up with. Uh, this shit. And then special summon, and then hold on. Let's right. see. What we got? Okay, our Could options... Could do Star already. No, hold on. Now our options are, from the left, stop your opponent from doing any special summoning entirely. That's useless, he doesn't have anything. Armor Master, you take no damage and your monster is never destroyed. Good, but he'll never get over it. <laughs> Clear Wing, you can negate all of their abilities ever. Wow. And destroy it. Star Eater. Fuck. <laughs> fucking big ass fucking... Dragon that you eat, win. That eats that that eats supernovas. Yeah, literally read his ability, guys. Jesus Christ. And yeah. lastly, uh, Raikiri. You can do, you can destroy any number of cards on your opponent's side of the field for however many black wings you have on the field. Which, considering the the uh, synergy of this deck, is a lot. You're always gonna have at least two, probably five. God. So what do you want? Do you want do you want invincible? Do you want negate? Do you? Uh, I want to eat it. Okay. I do have to be careful because he does have. Will this ability go through? Uh, yes. Flip cards. Yes. Awesome. No effects can be activated in response to it doing anything until the end of the damage step. That's awesome. I will openly admit I have a uh, fear and a hatred of flip card effects. And bye. That's fine, actually. That's not a problem. Do you have anything that can resurrect monsters in this deck? Yeah, but hold on. Uh. Go over to that monster and hit triangle. No, his monster. Oh, his. What is his effect? This card attacks a face up at the start of the damage step. Destroy that monster. His defense must be higher than this card's. Okay, hold that, on. That's kind of really good, actually. Hold on. Uh, Go back. Yeah. Go into your extra deck. Oh, you're what? looking for shit that can counter that? No, hold on. Go to you the... You got fucking Stardust in here? <laughs> yeah, of course I do. Go what to the, the right. <laughs> go to the right, go to the right, go to the right. Okay, and what is yeah, okay. Uh you're so saying with the lower defense, I see. Yeah, summon blizzard. The uh, I see the one in my hand. Yeah. Will this thing allow me to bring out anything else? Yes. Its ability is you, is you can special uh yeah, that one. You can special summon a level four black wing in defense mode. Hmm. And now because because of whirlwind you get to draw, you want to draw that one. Alright. And now you're going to synchro. You are going to you are going to synchro into uh, you're going to sync uh, so you're going to synchro into armed wing. Black wing armed wing. Okay. Yeah. God, seriously, it's you have no idea how gratifying it is to have an actual effective tuning monsters as well as a deck with synergy. I'm so used to you saying Jack Atlas's. Is... All right, and now just attack it. All right. Okay, good. Making progress. <laughs> I didn't think Joey's deck was this effective at the, at the start. That's pretty impressive, actually. <laughs> I seriously... That's a GX era card. I seriously don't think I've ever actually fought the, uh, had this deck with them, because I've used his default decks a couple times. They suck dick, but I still use them, but they've never been this effective. Normal summon that one. This one on the left? The one on the right. Normal summon? Yeah. Not special? Yeah. Normal. Okay. Because if you because if you special summon it, you don't get you don't get the effect of uh, whirlwind. I see. Now get another gale. This one. Yeah. Okay. The blue and the green, or the purple and the green rather. <laughs> Close enough. Now uh, special summon this guy. Special summon. Doesn't really really matters. Synchro. What are we summoning this time? Go for clear wing. Okay. If you if you want to have if you want to have fun, just uh, read its effect. It is, oh, a, it's a, it is a mile long. I oh, <laughs> I'll admit this might have been one of the smaller things that deterred me from you ago. Not like hugely, but a little. Once per turn during your play's turn, when another low five or higher monster activates its effect in the field, you can negate the activation. If you do destroy it, once per turn during your player's turn, when monster effect is activated, oh my god, you can negate the activation if you do destroy it. Oh Jesus. 
This card the effect destroys a monster. This card attack equal to destroyed. God, okay. Yep. Okay. Now attack. Yeah. And GG. <laughs> okay, that's stupid. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry about that, folks. That I wasn't expecting you Joy to have a deck like that. That's fine. I can work with this. Yeah, actually, I'm just gonna lower the <laughs> brightness of the TL a little bit. Oh wow! I know it's that's a little much. Let's keep it where it is. Okay. <laughs> yeah. A card that powerful totally. Yes, it does, Joey. Yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does, Joey. Trust me. <laughs> wow, you stink. All right. Uh, obviously, I'm probably gonna. We're gonna take a little bit of the high road here and abstain from. I just have better. Yes, you do. <laughs> We're gonna abstain a little bit from the Yu-Gi-Oh bridge jokes because 2006 and stuff. Yeah, I like to think I have a better sense of humor than that. Yeah, I mean it does. They do good jokes, but not from like pre 2010. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I just I always love how Kai was already got his Battle City outfit in every cutscene. I hate. That's one of the things that I hate about this is that a lot of characters m most of the time have their have their end game costumes already. Odd, but yeah. So the the fun times. Those of you who are familiar with Yu Gi Oh, you probably know about this already, or at least if you know known about it. Old man gets mugged, has cards taken, blue eyes ultimate dragon, or, or just three blue eyes, and <laughs> egg man, I am so used to the fucking old cartoony looking blue eyes white dragon. Yeah, I miss that. I'm gonna be honest, actually, I've never really been that big a fan of the Blue Eyes White Dragon design. No. I don't know, I just look always too angular. Like, way too angular. You gotta admire a man like a man like Kaibo, who, when he gets the fourth out of four only cards that ever exist, rather than selling it for millions of dollars, just destroys it. <laughs> yeah. He's so confident in his own money that he doesn't need someone to... Seriously, you can you can hear the Sean Chamel emanating off of that robot. Really can. <laughs> Especially after the shit we were watching earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to be actually reading or paying much attention to the story because you know the story. And we're good. We Even if you don't know the story, you know the story. Well, at least be keeping the text on the screen long enough for people to like, pa like pause and read if they want to. Yeah. And honestly, the story is pretty <laughs> fucking shallow at this point, let's be honest. And very boring. This, this is, this, I'm, I'm not going to lie, this is a very stale presentation. Yeah. Although, I will admit, occasionally comment on some... Really ridiculous four kids lines because this is still a four kids dub. Look at the sweet prize I won. <laughs> Quote unquote one. <sighs> Just pour it up. Okay. I'm surprised they have a graphic for it actually being sliced in half. <laughs> you know, like a bit of a missed opportunity, but okay. <sighs> My treasure <sighs> as opposed to Exodia? Are you serious? <sighs> I think people value Exodia a little more than Blue Eyes, or at least a single one. So you probably don't remember this, but there's a moment in the beginning of Battle City where Ishizu tells Kaiba that there were, that the Egyptian gods are stronger than Exodia, and Exodia, if you don't remember, is an instant win condition. Yeah. Well, How I do mean, you to beat be... that? Because uh... it, it's... Cause, about... Well, I, I can kind of see why. It's because you have to have a deck that revolves around Exodia. Yeah, but you also, you also have to be able to get three normal summons off and then tribute them... For your Egyptian god, you have to you have to keep those monsters on the field. That's surprisingly easy, depending on the deck you run. Like slot, like tokens definitely work for that shit. And <sighs> the right here is gonna show his own Exodia deck. <laughs> I've had some really <laughs> fucked up Exodia decks through through the story. Some actually worked, others were just like I didn't even notice this Exodia deck. I killed you too fast. <laughs> uh. There's a character in GX who has an Exodia attack, but I don't think they actually end up using it. Probably not. I may end up having to scoop and retry. This deck is sort of situational. It tries very hard and very fast to search, but it has its problems now and then. The default deck Yugi actually has is pretty effective because it utilizes Swords of Revealing Light, a Heart of the Underdog, and there's a lot of normal monsters in there, so every time you draw it, you're pretty much set. Oh, yeah, I got three of the pieces. And yeah. go again. Don't need Jar of Greed. Can I tell you that? Do not need Jar of Greed. We're not about to get an OTK, are we? We might. For those that don't know, OTK stands for uh, one turn kill. 
Uh, we already got... <laughs> well... Almost. You, you could have stuck out the head, actually, and had it soak up a hit or two. I already used one day of peace. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Pfft, that is a crap five-star card, dude. Come on. If you're gonna summon anything, summon fucking summon skull. Yeah, but they have to use cards that Kaiba used, which I don't think that's one of them. I think that's actually one of Joey's <laughs> cards. Yeah. Just that name, though. Rude Kaiser. Yeah. Yeah, I, that's always throwing me off, too. Nah, not yet. Eh. I'm gonna wait until I draw first. Because uh, Reckless Greed... Split. Reckless Greed is a very hard risk. Read that. Yeah, especially because you gotta skip your next two draw phases. Frankly, Jargree would be much... Oh, okay. Brandon showed me this uh, cool trick of one day piece earlier that I'm... I didn't think about it all beforehand because See, I, now this that isn't, apply. When you're using Reckless Greed, you want to use at least two at once because while the draw effects uh, stack, the skip effect doesn't. So you can draw two cards and only have to, uh, you can draw four cards and only have to wait two turns. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah, that that was a major play uh, during uh, during the Synchro era. Yeah. Going for uh, his blue eyes. His blue eyes too. Yeah, blue eyes is too. It's a for level eight. I think if you drew the four cards now, you might actually be set. Yeah, but I, I want to maximize. I want to capitalize on the ability to draw at least one more time. Fair enough. Yeah, now we're going to do it. Because if I don't draw anything that can at least search it, then there's a problem. Yep. Douche. Uh, ah, no, we're still missing the left arm. No, wait, that's the fine. right arm. Trust me, that's absolutely fine. Because level limit area... Whoa! Change all face at level four. Higher monsters. Okay. I don't. I don't. And I don't think he has. He has monsters that are weaker than that that can attack. But I don't think he has any anything that can actually outright get rid of it. Nothing substantial. No. I've used Kyra's deck, and I don't think he has anything like that. Well, he does have some. Th ah, shit. He has some sort of like uh, not spellbinding circle. There's a variant of that, but it, <laughs> he does have these spells somewhere in that deck. But it, I don't think he's got it already. There we go. No, we don't. Oh, fuck, you're right. God damn it. That's fine. It's so funny that we're actually recording this because just the flood of Yu-Gi-Oh! jokes I could be making right now. <laughs> the, maybe, especially maybe... Oh, wait. Uh, I'm going to see if I can flash this up on the screen right now. I probably know where to find it. The, uh... <laughs> ta taking, um... The, that rule 34 post for Exodia, where it's just take the cards and like flip the arms and the legs higher, and it's like just pretend it's a female or something. <laughs> that was ridiculous. See, he can't he can't do anything about it. So eventually, sooner or later, I'm gonna draw the card I need. He can keep gaining as much life points as he wants. I don't give a shit. Yeah. I think Yugi's deck utilized uh, brain control, and I used that on his blue eyes when he summoned it, and it just made it so fucking easy. <laughs> this deck, this de there's no in between with this deck. It either wins immediately or it takes 15 minutes. Yeah. No, that's totally fine. I figured that would be roughly what we're going for with this. Should I? Yeah. I would honestly do it. Skadoosh. There we go. There we are. <laughs> I've had it happen before, actually, where I, where I would start the first, the fir uh, the first turn of a duel with uh, four pieces, and then, and then draw the final, uh, the final piece on the first turn. <laughs> oh my god, that would be something. It would be hard, put your heart in the cards. <laughs> oh my god. I must believe in the heart of cards. I have, I believe in them. I have Hello. cards. Yep, and something.